What's up, guys? Welcome to Elvis is the Man. I want to talk to you guys about a little bit of Elvis history, and that involves Tempest Storm. Now, uh, Tempest Storm was a burlesque star in, uh, in Las Vegas. She died at the age of 93. And as you can see, she was a redhead. She died in a Las Vegas apartment on Tuesday, and she was battling dementia, reports say. So she was one of the best known and highest regarded performers of all time. So what does burlesque mean? It's basically a stripper. That's what it means. Her actual name was Blanche Banks. And she left home in seventh grade and moved to Hollywood. So she was 15 at the time. Think about it. How did her parents let her go to, you know, in seventh grade to Hollywood? I might say something about the parents. But anyway, she wanted to start a career. And what happened was she was a waitress and, uh... She got tips from her customers that she might make more as a stripper. So that's just what she did. And not too many people know this, but she actually had a fling with JFK in 1957 when he was a senator. So how does this involve Elvis? Their relationship began in 1956 when Elvis was in Las Vegas. You know, some reports say it was 1956, but I actually believe it was 1957. In October, I believe Elvis went on a 10-day vacation in October, and that's when he met her. Now, this is how they met. Tempest says that he was with a group of dancers, and she spotted him out. And uh, actually, Elvis had her on his mind because when she came over to Elvis, I mean, Elvis knew exactly who she was. Uh, Elvis, she said, started blushing, like, deeply, deep red. She said that he started blushing real bad and said to her, Hello, Miss Storm. Your show is the greatest. And she said, you know, she she liked how, you know, very polite he was and how she could tell he was a country boy. And he asked what she was doing later. So Tempest says when she talks about uh, her interaction with Elvis there in that short little time period in October 1957, that she played hard to get. Uh, he asked what she was doing later, and she says, well, you know, I got another show later, and I need my beauty sleep, yada, yada, yada. You know, he, she knew that he was really into her, and, you know, she thought it was pretty cool, too, because, you know, this guy who was adored by millions and millions of fans was actually just idolizing her. And she was a bit older than Elvis. I think he was 22 at the time, and she was 28 or 29, so she was a little older. So what happened was, is uh, this turned into a little fling, a little relationship. Uh, Tempest says that they started hanging out in Vegas. They uh, went to dinners together. They did some dancing together, a few other things together. And, you know, a lot of laughing together. She says, Tempest says that she started to get feelings for Elvis. And they started to really connect because she could relate to the pressures of fame that he went through. You know, she was, uh, I mean, she dated JFK before he was the president. She actually told him that, you know, I believe you'll be the president. He says, I hope so, JFK. So they went out, they had fun, they got to know each other a little more. Uh, They never spent the night together. And uh, actually, Colonel warned Elvis about Tempest that, you know, this wouldn't be good for his career. It's not a good look. You know, she's a stripper, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, Elvis, you know, went ahead and did whatever he wanted. So uh, it comes to the conclusion. Finally, uh, Elvis calls Tempest on the phone and he says, Tempest, honey, I'm busting out of here tonight and I want to see you real bad. You know, I'm sure pure motives only. She says she thought it was funny because Elvis was doing it against Colonel Parker's wishes. And so she basically said that, uh, okay, we can meet tonight. And, you know, she actually wanted to. And uh, but don't come through the front door through the lounge because uh, nobody's ever seen a man come through, you know, my lounge. She's like, I entertain them. I don't do anything else with them. So she didn't want her image to be, you know, changed in any way either. So basically, uh, Elvis had no problems with going through the back way because that way Colonel wouldn't find out. Nobody would find out. The only problem was there's an eight foot fence Tempest told Elvis and Elvis had to climb that fence to get through the back and uh, she told him that you know she'd have the curtains open light on so Elvis knew exactly which room was hers so 
while she was waiting for Elvis, she uh, tried on a few different negligees, you know, which one she thought Elvis would like most. She tried the first one. She liked it a lot, but she said it wasn't revealing enough for Elvis and Elvis being a younger guy. That's what her thoughts were. So she changed about 15 minutes later. She saw Elvis climbing over the eight foot high security fence and he got stuck on the fence and she thought that was quite amusing. So they finally got to the front door and or the back door and Elvis quickly is like, hey, I got to go. Let's uh, do this, you know, play cards or whatever he was talking about. And um, so he takes her hand and they go through the first he goes he attempts to go through the first door he sees which is the hallway she says then he goes to the next door because these doors were shut and that was the bathroom and elva starts laughing finally he makes it to the bedroom and she's got a little dog there that uh, didn't like elvis being there so that dog was barking and whining and scratching at the door and elvis asked tempest hey can you get rid of the dog but she left the dog there and Elvis complained about uh, the dog through the whole interaction. So they hung out while the dog was scratching at the door. And that's basically the gist of this interaction. Elvis was 22 at the time. He told his mom he was going on a 10 day vacation, I believe. And uh, that was that. And you know, Elvis had feelings for her too. And uh, when they left, when Elvis left, um, he says that he liked to uh, meet with her whenever their schedules cross, whenever their schedules worked out, because she stayed in Las Vegas most of the time. That's actually, you know, where uh, she died in, uh, in Las Vegas. So she was out there the whole time. Um, I'm not quite sure if they ever met after that. Actually, yeah, they did. They met in 1970. And Elvis asked her if she still had her dog. So uh, that's a pretty funny story. I wanted to bring this up and tell you the story about this uh, interaction between the two. She passed away earlier this week. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit of Elvis history here on Elvis is the Man. If you have, hit the like button. It helps to grow and expand the channel and reach out to new viewers. If you've been watching but haven't subbed yet, which I do with people sometimes, hit the subscribe button. Also, in the description of this video, I have a link to a few other channels. A fitness channel and a Bible channel and also Patreon where I have rare things there that I don't have up on YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and we'll talk to you guys next time.